Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we're going to take a look at Woodchuck Donald at skill level 4, 5, and 6. If you're looking for a more in-depth review of Woodchuck Donald at skill level 1, 2, and 3, check that out in the description below and I'm also going to link it in the top right hand corner if you want to see a lower level demonstration. In that video, I'm primarily going to focus on the base stats and also some tips and tricks that you can use for Woodchuck Donald that applies to all different skill levels. But for this video, I primarily want to focus on skill level 4, 5, and 6 and really let you guys know if it's worth it to get to skill level 4, 5, or 6. And the short answer is maybe, but it depends on what you need. If you're looking for a coin earner, then Woodchuck Donald isn't going to be great for you. But if you want to assume that it's going to help you get through some of those missions and you don't have necessarily a lot of coins to spend, then Woodchuck Donald might be a viable candidate for you. Because Woodchuck Donald is a great soon for bubbles, if you're able to get the kayak ability, you're guaranteed 3 magic bubbles during this animation. And if you have a, a long chain mission, then getting the red ability where it turns a bunch of zooms into uh, Huey, um, then all the screen will turn into a bunch of Woodchuck Donald in which you could clear together. So you can make a really long chain using that ability. And if you want to just get a lot of coins and getting the one where it goes a diagonal across, then that one will earn you a lot of coins. So depending on if you want assume or need assume that helps you get through abilities, then Woodchuck Donald may or may not be the candidate for you. So in recap, not great for coins, but could be a viable candidate for missions if you don't already have one to get you through long chains and also bubbles. So if you're relatively new, then Woodchuck Donald is good. But if you've already been playing for a while and already have zooms that are good for bubbles and long chains, then you could probably pass on Woodchuck Donald. Unless you're a collector like myself, then get at least one copy so that way you have a whole collection of zooms. Okay, now let's take a look at all the abilities. The first one I want to cover is the red one, which is Huey. And Huey's ability is that he will turn all the zooms that you see on the screen randomly into other Huey, Deweys, and Louis. And you can connect long chains. So let's slow it down. What happens is the red one will jump to the front, which is Huey. And then they all line up and salute. And that's when you will see this big chain. And I'm going to pause it right here. And just to show you how many does get clear at this point. At skill level 4, there's a total of 20 zooms that gets changed. Skill level 5, there's 21. And skill level 6, there's 22. So each skill level that you go up, you're going to get one additional zoom that gets changed. And you connect them for very long chains. So if you already have zooms on the screen that are connectable, then you can also chain those as well. So you could get a very long chain because of that. So the next one that we have is Dewey. And Dewey is going to be the blue one out of the three of them. And the animation essentially is them running through the forest. So let's take a look. So Dewey will jump to the front with the blue flag and then the junior ducks will run through the forest and clear a diagonal line like up a mountain. So this is going to be the diameter and depending on how well and how compact your zooms are, you're going to get more or less in this range. And in, for my experience, for this example in particular, uh, I got the same result for skill level 5 and 6. But in theory, you should get more for skill level 6. It, it just turns out that skill level 6, it wasn't as thick as possible. It wasn't compact. So theoretically, you should get like 29 or 30 uh, for skill level 6. But not too bad. Skill level 4, I got 25. Skill level 5, I got 27. And skill level 6, I got 27. But it should be in the 30s. And then finally, we have Louie. And Louie is going to be the green one. And this is a cool animation. What happens during Dewey's animation is he will jump out to the front as the leader and then a bunch of kayaks will show up. And each of these kayak represents the blast radius and where there's where they're going to be. So take a look. I did get a uh, big zoom for skill levels 4. So that is going to be a little bit kind of throwing things off a little bit. You're likely not going to get as big of a chain than you normally would. So for this example, I got 8, 8, and 13 for skill level 4. Again, there was a big zoom, so really it was probably more like 8, 8, and 8. Uh, skill level 5, I got 10, 10, and 9. And skill level 6, I got 10, 10, and 10. So pretty good result. And also at the very end, uh, each of these will give you 3 magic bubble as well. So pretty good for bubble missions if you need a bubble maker. I also want to skip to the end here to show you what my coin earning potential is for Woodchuck Donald. For skill level 4, I got 1,071 coins. 
Skill level 5, I got 1,262. And skill level 6, I got 1,759. I'm also using the 5, 4, and coin boost, so I needed to get at least 2,300 to break even. Unfortunately, none of these are going to be good for coins, so I would say stay away from Woodchuck Donald if you need a coin earner. So that's pretty much it for Woodchuck Donald. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful or at least entertaining. And if you guys did, don't forget to scroll down and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching.